Hi everyone, today in this video we will see together how we can build a full online business covering both technical side and marketing side and with the help of AI and ChatGPT. I selected an idea that's somehow less competitive and at the same time we can implement in different ways and methods so it may be a good choice for beginners and to advanced users. The idea today is an email validation service business. So people will pay you on a monthly basis or buy credits to use your service. For example, DE Bounce is one of the best and affordable email validation services. If you go into pricing, people will pay per credit so they can get 5,000 validations for $10 and so on. Another example is my email validation software, which is part of Promoter Kit. If you go here to email section, we have the bulk email verifier where people can validate emails for free. And also I implemented the API. So people pays to get access to the validation API. All these are different methods to build and monetize an email validation service. We'll talk about all this in this video, the technical side, how we can build such services, how we can use AI and ChatGPT, how to market this service, sharing with you some scripts, a lot of value in a couple of minutes and without ads, stay tuned and keep watching. So let's start and see what is an email validation service in like 30 seconds. Let's imagine that it's your wedding party and you sent invites to all your friends, but at the wedding, you found that half of your friends didn't attend. They are not there. You made a mistake. You sent the invite to the wrong addresses. The same concept applies in email marketing. Let's say you create a product and you want to promote your email list and you sent a campaign, but 50% of the addresses were, in, were invalid. Simply the campaign will fail or simply you will lose a lot of sales. You don't want this to happen. This is where the email validation service comes. Its main role is to validate your target recipient's emails, if they exist or not, before sending your campaign. So today we will learn how to build this email validation system. Maybe you can use it for yourself to cut down costs or maybe to build a full business as you will see today. So let's start by picking a name for our business. Like any business, we want to get a brand name or a domain name. You have two options. You can squeeze your brain and think about ideas or you can simply use ChatGPT. Let me go to my premium prompts library and today I will reveal one of my premium secret prompts. Let's click on this one. Let me give you something for free. I will copy my prompt template, this one, and simply paste inside ChatGPT. And my niche is an email validation service. That's it, just paste the prompt. I will give it to you also by the end of this video. So don't worry about anything, copying or something. Just follow up now, understand the concept, and then you can apply. So let's wait for ChatGPT. And here we are, it will give you a list of domain names or brand names with explanation why it chose this name. And you can pick one if you want. So let's say you did your research, you got some ideas and you picked one. That's somehow not the main point now. We got the name with the help of ChatGPT. Step one done. Let's now move on to step number two. So how we can build an email validation service? We mainly have three methods. Let's start with the easiest approach is to buy a ready-made script. For example, I searched the web and I found on Code Canyon a script. If you go here and search for email validation, I found this email verifier pro. To be honest with you, I didn't test it, but it has some good reviews. You can go to the live preview and test by yourself before buying if you want. If you buy this script, you'll have a full email validation business. We have the SaaS version also. You can buy it from their website if you want to build a business directly. But to be honest with you, I don't prefer this approach, especially in our case, in a technical website like this one. You will understand this more later in the video where we explain the technical side behind email validation. It's somehow complex. But in general, I usually buy a lot of scripts. If you go to my account here, you will see I have a lot of scripts I bought from Code Canyon. Some for research, some for starting a side project 
like for example large file sender this is a script i bought from code canyon and you can see today it's getting some traction i can promote my other stuff and for example free image.ai it's also a script i bought from code canyon i started a business directly with it and it's getting a lot of traction also i can also promote my other stuff here so in short i don't prefer using this method to start an email validation service but in case you decided to test it you want to buy it and test it make sure to rebrand your script you need to do some styling make sure to test everything the main problem here is support if you face any technical problem you need to wait for the author to fix it and you are providing a business you have clients you have customers and you don't understand exactly how it works so in case you are a developer you're a php developer and you understand the code maybe you can go with this approach it's somehow simpler for you to start directly but for beginners to buy a technical script like this one it will be somehow hard to provide support later on or to update the script i mentioned it as a tip maybe you need to test you need to research or something but i don't prefer this approach the second approach which i prefer and it's somehow easy is to build a validation service on top of an api for example if you go here to de bounce and log in you see you have the api option this api allows you to use the email validation service but using your own custom code and what's really nice if you go here to documentation inside the ebounds they have an awesome documentation really so with the help of this documentation and chat gpt you can you can create the validation script easily in like 10 minutes go to single validation and you can see we have examples in node ruby php python even in c sharp whatever language you'll find all the codes here you can just copy it paste it and try it it's very simple for example in promoter kit i do this i use my own validation system plus apis like de bounce now maybe the main problem with this approach is we need to write some code again chat gpt is here to help us if you go back to our premium prompt library let's go here and search for python let me give you another prompt for free from my library show this prompt i will copy it go to chat gpt new chat paste and simply this prompt will help you write any python script it will ask you what type of script you want and so on now i will save some time i already did this and let's let's see here we are and you can see now chat gpt wrote the full script for me that validates using the de bounce api but the idea is we are going to use an api to validate emails and please focus very well here a very important tip is to use caching you know we are paying for this api but what we can do is to cache validations like i do with the promoter kit here to cut down costs so when a user verifies an email the first time i cache the result then if another one requested the same email i will get the result from my cache instead of calling the api so in this way i can cut down the costs so use an api with caching to implement the email validation service this is the second approach before moving on to the third approach which is the most advanced approach which is building the email validation service from scratch yourself let's see how we can monetize how we make money with these scripts the first method as you mentioned is to build a SaaS service like the ebounce or maybe you heard about never bounce all these are email validation services that you pay them on a monthly basis or you buy credits like in the ebounce to validate your emails so the first model which is maybe the most complex is building a SaaS website i will tell you in a little bit how we can build the interface we have multiple multiple options also just bear with me a little bit the second option is to sell an api on rapid api i think this is the easiest approach as i explained before in my api videos so you create a simple script and you publish on rapid api and you sell on a monthly basis like this one here you can see this is my email validation api on rapid api and what's nice soon i will have a full course 
about building and selling APIs for total beginners from scratch. You can join the waiting list in the description below. We have a link you can join and secure your spot. The third method is by building a free tool like this one on promoter kit. You know, it's free. Anyone can use it, but they need to log in to sign up. So in this way, what I'm doing, I am building my email list. The second benefit of this website is banner ads you can sell ad spaces or promote your other products creating a side project if you have a business creating a side project is very important it can get a lot of traction to your business a lot of traffic especially with online tools i mentioned this a lot before how online tools help me reach 1 million visits per month you can check my guides in the description below anyway now it's time to learn some complicated technical stuff. I will try my best to make it as simple as possible. Even if you don't want to implement this, understanding these concepts will help you a lot in business in general and in email marketing. So usually when you want to validate an email, we have three levels, three steps. Number one is syntax validation, is to ensure that the syntax of the email is correct. Like it has an ad sign, it has a domain name and so on. This is the easiest thing to validate. The second level is MX domain validation. It's simply connecting to the DNS of the domain and checking if the DNS has a mail exchange server, an MX record listed. This will help you ensure that there is a mail server behind this domain. This is also somehow simple to implement with Python and ChatGPT. The third level, which is the most complicated and here where the problem is, is validating the existence of the target mailbox. Usually to validate, you need to send an email. If it bounces back, it's invalid. If it, if it was sent, it is valid. But we want to validate without sending emails. We want to validate the mailbox of your recipients. And here we have problems like IP blacklisting. When you try to validate emails in bulk, the mail servers will blacklist you. So you will get always access denial or maybe failures or maybe invalid emails. But in reality, you are blacklisted, you are blocked. So we implement something like IP rotation to validate emails in bulk and we add some rate limiting. We have a lot of technical details here. I will share all these details, by the way, in a full guide. And I don't want now to go in detail technically. I will leave this spot for people who want to go in deep. I will have a full guide attached with this video in the description below where you can find all the scripts, all the codes, all the prompts, all details, technical stuff and so on. But in short now, in one minute, you must understand that in this approach, you will need to write the full code from scratch, validating every single level and implementing technical requirements like multiple servers, multiple IPs, rate limiting, monitoring, a lot of things to ensure not to get blacklisted and to get the right results. And we have problems like catch all emails where the server will respond always with valid email, even if the email is not valid, like in Yahoo mail servers. So we have a lot of challenges here. I will keep all this for the full detailed guide. If you're interested, you can check it and read it. It's totally free. I want to move on to building the interface. As I mentioned, if you want to build an online tool, you need to build a UI. If you want to build a SaaS like this one, you need to build a UI and interface, user interface. So usually we have four approaches. You can build it yourself if you know, like using React or Next.js or any front end framework instead of wasting time like two hours on YouTube shorts and Instagram reels. Let's waste one hour also on learning some technical stuff that really helps you. The second approach is hiring a developer. Okay. The third one is using no code tools. Today we have something like bubble.io, a website that helps you build websites without a single line of code using no code tools. We have a lot of tools like Framer, like Webflow, do a simple research. I will also share some in my detailed guide so you can check if you want. So the third approach is building with no code tools. And number four is using semi no code tools. So we have something like Anvil 
I mentioned also in one of my videos, I think Anvil Python, yes. This one, it helps you build UIs on top of Python scripts. This is why also I tell you, go and learn Python scripting. It's really easy to learn and it will give you a lot of opportunities. You can automate things, widen your view on how you can do businesses, especially if you are working alone at home like me, or if you are planning to have your online business from home, learning this skill, Python scripting, have a lot of opportunities for you to help you in your online business and marketing in a lot of things. By the way, I have a full Python scripting course for beginners inside my prompt engineering course. I don't know if you joined or not, but if you're interested, you can check it also in the description below. So this is the four ways to build UI, semi no code tools, no code tools, hiring a developer and building it yourself. Let's now talk a little bit about marketing and launching your product. After you finish implementing, whether it's an API or maybe a free tool or maybe a SaaS business, I wanna share with you three main tips to, to push your service, to market your service. Number one is to publish on Product Hunt. You can see here, my websites are published on Product Hunt. This will give you some exposure. You can also add these badges on your website to help people find you on Product Hunt and review your products. The second way is by picking up two platforms like Twitter and Medium and start creating content around your service or your business. And number three is SEO. I believe it's one of the best. I know it takes some time, but it's very important. And especially if you learn the lean SEO technique I mentioned before, where you pick like 100 keywords and you create a template and you can start filling up this template with blog posts somehow fast. And today we have ChatGPT can build a lot and target a lot of keywords to get a lot of traction fast to your business. And by the way, let me reveal and give you something else. If you go here to my prompts library marketing, let me give you another prompt also today. So this one, the advanced keyword research SEO plan, this prompt will help you create an SEO plan based on a keyword. For example, let's copy it, go here to chat GPT and you chat and paste and let's say email validation service, for example. And now this prompt, you can see we have now a table containing the keyword cluster, the long tail keyword, search intent, a lot of things, an SEO content strategy that you can use to push your business. As I mentioned, all these prompts will be available for free for you since you are here with me supporting my channel, maybe with a like, so you can get all the details, the prompts, technical details in the guide below this video. And if you are interested in learning how to craft these power prompts, and how you can build automation workflows, learn Python scripting, connecting with ChatGPT to build your automation scripts. You can check my full course, become a prompt engineer, going from zero to scripting automated workflows. That's it. See you later.